what's going on. In this video, I'm gonna explain my thoughts onto why I think Solana is just uh, correcting right now and it's a great time to buy because it's moving upwards. Not financial advice, okay? Never financial advice. I'm just a cowboy with lizard brain, gorilla arms, and diamond hands exploring the wild west of cryptocurrency. But it, I'll also show like, hey, what is happening compared to Bitcoin and the rest of the market and um, the ecosystem of Solana and why I'm excited about it uh, and what is exactly happening with Solana's price and where it's going to go in the future. Now, um, if you're new to this channel, my name is Aaron. I'm going to journey to two Bitcoin. I already accomplished my first one, zero to six months in one with one Bitcoin. And I'm trying to help as many people to their first. That's that's all I'm trying to do. Uh, I, I'm excited about crypto. I'm excited about Solana. Um, and here's what's happening, I think. When last week, I'm going to just take from like the 6th, from the 6th to the to the 10th here. Look here. Here's normal normal price action. And bah, it just crashes all the way to the 10th. And it's like there's this massive like bear trend last week. Okay. Compared to Solana's price, and we'll take it from the 6th. 6 is just like on the rise, on the rise, and then, you know, now it's correcting from its all-time highs. And you could see this right here. Uh, it's sitting at like 160, 161, and, uh, you know, compared to its like 200, 207. And I bought in at about 173, 172-ish, right around there last week. And uh, I was pretty excited when I hit 200, 207, because I was like, oh, this is great. But anything that goes up, must come down anything that hits all-time highs will always correct and um, when I bought at 173 I was taking a little bit of a risk but I really did believe in Solana and I believed in the data that was going and let me share that data to you the reason why um, this is the weekly uh, digital asset funds flow uh, for on a weekly basis and the reason why Solana was able to stave off all of that correction was because last week investors hedge funds big money whales are investing 49 million dollars in one week into Solana. Let that sink in, okay? Let this sink. Maybe this will help. In cor in in relation to that, Ethereum lost 6 6 million dollars. Cardano before the smart contracts came out. This is the week of the smart contracts, right? So smart contracts were coming out the 12th and this was the week before, 6th to the 10th, only 3 million rushed in. And then Ripple got only three million. So the clo the next closest was Cardano at three point five, and it had a smart contract event, like life changing, world changing event happen to it, and it only gained three million. Whereas investors were saying, "Forget Cardano, let's go into Solana." This is incre this is incredible. Look, on this channel, we try not to overthink things. I'm not smarter than these guys. I'm not smarter than these big time investors. I'm not, and and I'm okay with acknowledging that. I have a lizard brain. Okay, I'm just saying, where's the money going? This is not financial advice. This is just, I'm looking at a number here. It's saying 49 million is going into that and it's saying 3 million is going to Cardano. Guess where this cowboy is rolling into? Guess where this cowboy is riding into the sun with? With Solana. With Solana. I mean, this is this is just like a simple thing. Here's Solana's ecosystem, right? And um, this is this is like a massively growing ecosystem where, where people are, are discovering that, hey, we need to start building our business on Solana. I think it's going to happen with Cardano. Don't get me wrong. But it, I think we're so far out from that. Solana is handling 50,000 transactions per second. OK, that's how many transactions compared to like Bitcoin's like seven and Ethereum's 15. 15 to 50,000 is like, imagine if you had an army of 50,000 people going up against an army of 15 people. Those better be 15 big people, you know? <laughs> so, but it doesn't matter. You got 50,000. It doesn't matter. So um, I'm, I'm just seeing like a whole bunch of people developing. I, obviously, the, the bulk of it is in DeFi. I'd like to see the NFT space grow. Um, I'm guessing that NFT space is in regards to um, gaming, but I'm not even too sure about that. I haven't gone into each one of these. Uh, but I would assume it's in gaming. And so gaming to me and De gaming and DeFi are the biggest opportunities in crypto right now. It's like it's like right at the, that, the very, very beginning. And so whoever gets into make successful games and successful DeFi onto onto these blockchains, especially Solana. Uh, but there's a whole bunch of other blockchains coming out that are, you know, on, on this rise. Uh, Solana already made its parabolic move. But I could still see it moving even upwards even more uh, because, I mean, look at this. You can't deny $50, 000, $50 million. You can't deny $50 million going into this asset, asset a week. Not a week, but in the last week. These guys know something, obviously. 
these guys can see that, hey, at 160, it is undervalued. At a market cap of $50 billion and a, a, a price of 160, they're thinking it's overvalued. And I'll tell you what, they're looking for a six, seven X gain. So if you're getting on this, you gotta ad adopt. If you're getting on this now, which I think is a good time because it's a little correction here, I think it's time to to get in and and hold for like six months. Um, I think one of the price uh, predictions here that you know some people are talking about is a nine hundred dollar uh, coin, Solana coin, which is interesting. All right, nine hundred bucks, and they're saying, look, if it has the run BNB had, you know, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. And why did BNB have that run? Well, BNB had that run because people discovered pancake swap. People discovered AMMs, automatic, uh, automated market makers. And it's basically where you don't have to use a centralized exchange. It's a decentralized exchange. So they're discovering DeFi. They're dis discovering cheap fees. They're discovering like how you could really adopt blockchain technology into the future where we don't have to pay fees, where we don't have to pay, uh, we don't have to wait. We don't have to, you know, centralize anything and, and put our, our coins at risk here. We could take money, our money into our own hands, our financial future into our own hands. And that's what people discovered with BNB and PancakeSwap. And I think that's what people are betting people will discover discover on Solana with all these DeFi projects coming out I mean like you know you've got a high competition here and high competition means high quality and high results so I like that DeFi is here I like that there's so many of these uh, uh, competitors into the in the Solana ecosystem I'm not even sure which one's the best right now or which one has the most uh, track record but the more competition that DeFi has in the Solana ecosystem the better because these guys are just gonna be making themselves better Okay, so that's where we need to go into. That's where I, I really feel comfortable about a $900 price prediction. I don't know when that is, but if you're okay with, like me, just sitting and holding and waiting, uh, you know, that's that's the route to go. Anyway, you let me know what your, your thoughts is on Solana. Are you buying into Solana? Is this something that's for you um, that, hey, can you sit on this? Can you just wait for Solana to, to like take off. Because I, I believe that blockchain is the future. I think that when we're talking about the centralized, the, 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 the way banking, the way our funds are managed right now, we don't have any control. You and me, we're little cowboys running right out here. And this is where I think uh, the, the, the strain of like, that whole like Occupy Wall Street movement and you know all this like you know that whole sentiment the distrust in the government that whole sentiment is because people are controlling our money and this is for the first time in history that we don't have these like hands creeping up and forcing fees forcing the way that they do things I'm like and we're in crypto I hate when centralized exchanges have to freeze their their apps so I can't trade I like when I lose control of my money I like I'm like I'll lose it I'm like I'm done with you and DeFi has that op get, pr provides that opportunity. Ethereum doesn't even provide that. I mean, he do it does with Uniswap, but it's so expensive. It's it, mass adoption can't do it. We can't trade NFTs on uh, Ethereum right now. We can't go move in and out of the markets with, with under a thousand bucks. Really, at eighty at eighty dollars a transaction and just ten dollars to approve it and eighty dollars a transaction, I need to be trading at like six thousand bucks. I need to be trading six thousand bucks a time uh, a transaction to make it even seem like remotely like it makes sense. This is does it when we're trading less than a penny on Solana when we're trading less than a penny well, a couple pennies on on Binance, it, it it doesn't make sense. So Solana definitely is the future. Any of these blockchains, these like it, this is like the next level and this is the next level adoption and I think businesses are gonna are gonna see that and people are gonna see that anyway I've, I've rambled on but these are some like honest and pure thoughts um, just how to manage my money not never financial advice I appreciate you listening to my thoughts and all that let me know what your thoughts are in the in the description is Solana a good buy right now or maybe even meta like meta, meta narrative hey what's the future of decentralized finance. So what's the future of how the world will be doing finance in the future? Anyway, thanks for watching. Lizard brain, gorilla arms, diamond hands, cowboys ride together. See you on the moon.